a mystic family. So unfortunately I'm gonna have to take a break from here and Twitch and basically social media for a while for the most part. Um there was not an infection when my boyfriend's sister went back to the hospital. It was just fluid buildup. And they got it draining properly, but in doing what they did to get it draining properly, they caused an infection because she was about to come home, spiked a fever of 104 overnight last night, and didn't even know who she was or remember anything. So apparently they are operating soon, like within the next few minutes or so, or hour or so, to drain the infection out. And she's had several infections in other places from this hospital, and it's in Philly. Now, all this crap that she's going through started when she was nine years old, and she had almost died from it because she had brain tumors, and the one hospital she was taken to refused to look into it, so she was rushed to A.I. DuPont, but unfortunately she can't go back there because she's in her 20s, and that's only for children. And they had even said the surgeries to stop the seizures, which is what she wanted, was a 50-50 chance of not having complications afterwards. Now, this hospital in Philly said 99% sure that it would go fine and there would be no complications. Well, according to that, we think they're full of shit. And they need to be sued. I don't know what the hospital's name is, but I think somebody needs to get a lawyer. My boyfriend thinks somebody they need to get a lawyer. Because this is ridiculous that this much crap is happening. She's going through so many surgeries of having tumors removed. She had a growth in her jaw that was removed. She had brain tumors that were removed. And I understand her wanting to stop the seizures, but... And she hasn't had one since. But she's had, obviously, worse complications. So... As far as celebrating 400, I don't know when it's going to happen. And due to no content, I will probably drop below that because I'm... Yeah, that probably will. And I'm trying to keep... I, I have... I have to stay away from people because I don't want to bring anyone else down. And playing my game is keeping me from completely having a mental breakdown. It's sad that people think games are bad and they cause violence and they cause mental illness. No, they don't. No, they don't. That's all a mindset. Video games are played all over the world and you don't see the issues in other parts of the world like we have here. And it's all the same games. The same games are played everywhere. It's not the games. And depending on the game you're playing, it is an escape. If it's a good game, like a fantasy game, like what I play, it's an escape from this hell that is called life. <laughs> because honestly, right now, our life is hell. And we just want this shit to end.
Thank you for those who have been keeping in contact with me. Well, basically one person through Messenger. Just to talk. Because the real people show that they care. Everyone else who ignores it, well, whatever. It's like, I'm sorry, but I have to stay away from drama right now. Because it's turned me into a negative person. I keep ending up in it and I need to stay out of it. And I appreciate those good people on YouTube that don't cause it, keep it out of their communities. They're the ones who are mature and know how to do things the right way, but have fun too. So please keep praying, and hopefully the next video will be some good news.